Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about BT hole and two hole directional coupler. Generally, directional couplers are of different types, like a single hole directional coupler, two hole directional coupler, and multi hole directional coupler. In general, in laboratory purpose, we are using a four port circulator which is having a, a uh, what is that? A two, four holes, so like a two port. Uh, uh, two hole directional coupler it is used to couple power from one waveguide to another waveguide generally hole is nothing but a hole is nothing but a place it to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide in the beta hole directional coupler it is a single hole this beta hole directional coupler has a single hole to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide what do you mean by directional coupler what do you mean by coupler coupler is nothing but a joint coupler is nothing but it is used to couple two different waveguides generally in, in directional coupler uh, setup there are two waveguides primary waveguide and secondary waveguide the power from primary waveguide is being coupled to the secondary waveguide using a hole suppose if there is one hole to couple the power we call it as a beta hole or a single hole directional coupler if we are having two holes that is a two hole directional coupler three holes three hole directional coupler and in general there is a multi hole directional coupler in general there are multi hole directional coupler okay so let us see the construction of this beta hole directional coupler and a two hole directional coupler in this video see here the diagrams shows that it is having a single hole see the circle in, at the center shows that it is having a single hole to couple the power from this waveguide to this waveguide see if you clearly observe there are two waveguides actually joined one on another to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide the bottom one is the primary waveguide and upper one is the secondary waveguide where in the primary waveguide we are giving the input signal see this is the input we are applying at the port one generally there are uh, four ports are there for a directional coupler see this is the first port and this is second port third port and fourth port first port second port are always on the primary waveguide one is opposite to another waveguide one is opposite to another port and third port and fourth port are from the secondary waveguide which are belonging to another waveguide okay so now the power which is entering into this input port 1 to the primary waveguide that power directly goes to this second port that, that means the power has a chance to go in the forward direction like this and up to second port as long as the power is being traveled inside this primary waveguide as the wave takes to and fro direction that means it touches the upper part and again touches the bottom part again touches the upper part so as it touches and moves in the forward direction some part of the power from this hole will also couple into this secondary waveguide so very leakage amount of signal as it is having a single hole a leakage amount of power that goes into this primary waveguide and some power will be coming back towards this third port that's why this port is a coupling port the third port is also known as a coupling port third port is a coupling port and the fourth port is completely isolated port no power enters into this fourth port isolated port and whatever the input signal applied at this first port maximum 99 percent of the signal will be going towards the received port nothing but second port coming to this another diagram same diagram same structure is just shown in a three-dimensional way where the first diagram first primary waveguide is having a secondary waveguide with a different shape at an angle theta okay so the direction is different but the concept is same with the, both of the diagrams 
So bite hole is nothing but bite hole is nothing but a single hole. A single hole. A single hole directional coupler which is used to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide. So the power can be coupled from primary waveguide primary waveguide to secondary waveguide through a single hole through a single hole okay so this is what the bte hole directional coupler or single hole directional coupler now let us see a two hole directional coupler how a two hole directional coupler operates with the same principle of uh, whatever we have discussed in the case of bte hole directional coupler see if you observe this here also there are two types of waveguides that are joined one on another which is known as a primary waveguide primary waveguide which is associated with first and second port in the previous uh, bte hole directional coupler also the primary waveguide is at the bottom and the secondary waveguide is at the top the bottom is having the first and second ports so whichever we are treating it as a primary waveguide that waveguide is having the ports first port and second port okay we can call it as input port and received port so this is the primary waveguide which is connected at this uh, top place and it is the secondary waveguide which is connected at the bottom now it is having four ports with two holes see this is hole 1 and this is hole 2 these two holes are used to couple the power from one waveguide nothing but primary waveguide to the secondary waveguide okay in the previous case it was only a single hole to couple the power but here in this case there are two holes now what could be the distance between the two holes what could be the distance there is a specific formula that we should consider the distance between the two holes or three holes it should be like a length like like l okay the distance between the holes must be l which is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda g by 4 2n plus 1 into lambda g by 4 n may be any positive number n may be any integer number any integer okay so if you if you can take 1 2 3 and so on up to any number you can take okay so this is what the distance between the two holes distance between the two holes l is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda g by 4 we know lambda g is nothing but guide wavelength now consider the case the input is applied at the port 1 input is applied at the port 1 so when input is applied at the port 1 how the signal takes the direction it first takes a leakage signal towards this hole 1 from primary waveguide to secondary waveguide and again another direction a leakage will be taking place from the second hole from this primary waveguide to this secondary waveguide and the remaining power will be going towards this port 2. So as long as the number of holes increases the leakage powers that enters from primary waveguide to secondary waveguide also increases. Okay, suppose if it is only single hole, only one time the power can be coupled from one waveguide to another waveguide. But here, as, he, as we are having two holes, it couples the power from one waveguide to another waveguide twice. Okay, now the power which goes to the primary waveguide, uh, to the secondary waveguide, those are again added up and goes to port 4 and remaining power, any leakage power that goes back that will be cancelled okay here the power goes from port 1 to port 2 and leakage power that 
enters into the secondary waveguide goes towards the port 4. This is the coupling port. In this case, it is the coupling port. And what about the port 3? Port 3 is nothing but isolation port. Isolation port or isolated port. Whereas port 1, in this case, we are treating it as port 1 as input port and port 2 as output port or we can say it as received port. Okay. So, this is what the two hole directional coupler and single hole or beta hole directional couplers. So, in the next video, I will explain a four port directional coupler and its scattering matrix parameters. Thank you.